Alright, brother man. You got a good shot? Yes, I do. <laughs> no! No! Fuck! <laughs> ah! Fuck! to make a video today but i forgot my camera battery and charger at the barber shop and i still have not gotten to get it so that's what we're going to do today first thing you put in your body in the morning should be water and if you're feeling a little zesty let's let some sunlight that's not sunlight oh folks it's a rainy day today now you know what rain means rain means i get to use my favorite umbrella it's a green color but it's also kind of khaki it's more green than it is khaki i'm quite fond of the color green you know it's not my favorite color but if black and gold wasn't my favorite color green would be a, a good candidate you know and i'm not talking like lime green no 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 like cactus green or like a like a nature green you know forest greens those are awesome like my coat here. And I discovered these socks. I love cool socks. You, as my, my new fan base should know, is that I am very, very fond of funky socks, okay? Check out my Dragon Ball socks. These are awesome. Look at this. Bob's Burgers socks. I don't like wearing boring socks. I like all my socks to be cool. So rest be assured, when I walked into that store and I discovered socks dedicated to the high school that I spent the most time at. I've been to three high schools. I graduated from Catalina Foothills High School in Arizona, but East Harford High School, this was my school. Lucky for me, the school colors were black and gold. Now, I don't know which one of you I'm talking to right now because we're getting 10 million subscribers by the end of the year. I don't care. I don't give a damn. You guys have to help us reach this goal. 10 million subscribers by the end of the year. Out of those millions of people who are going to subscribe, a couple thousand of you, you know, or a hundred, or even if it's just one. One of you guys out there is going to watch all of these videos, all of them. Most of you are gonna go and you're gonna see the ones that seem interesting to you and you're gonna click on those, but there's gonna be a few really, really dedicated people who stick around and watch all of these videos. And that's who I'm talking to right now. I'm talking to you. Maybe it's like July right now and we're doing the bus trip. Well, if you're going back to watch all of the videos from the start, I love you, okay? You are awesome. You are the kind of people that I'm doing this for. And I hope that from these videos, you can take something good from them because we want you guys to live your best lives and to be the best you that you can be, okay? So right now I'm making my bed. Listen, guys, if you guys can't start the day with making your bed, you guys aren't starting the day prepared. You have to get into the habit of doing good things first thing in the morning. So at the very least, start the day and make your bed. It doesn't have to look good. It can look bad. Is this a perfectly made bed to you? No, but it's all about building good habits. This is my Honda belt. Look at that. It's like a seat belt, but an actual belt. So tell me. How are you going to be your best you today? Very important that you realize that. Think about something that you've been wanting to do lately. Think about it. Now think about what you could do today, even if it's a small thing. What is one thing you could do today to push yourself just a little bit forward to increase your momentum, bring yourself one step closer to meeting that goal that you have for yourself, that thing that you really want to do. It doesn't have to be something super crazy or super hard, but when you find that thing, do it, okay? I just like dressing like this, by the way. Like, I'm not going to any fancy event or anything. I just like looking my best. Try to think of one time that you saw Dwayne The Rock Johnson out of shape. Chances are you have not seen Dwayne The Rock Johnson out of shape. It's counterproductive in life to say, oh, I'm only going to show my best self when it really matters. And then other times I can kind of like do whatever. And I say no to that notion. You know what? I think you should always be your best self because if you're always your best self, then you're never ever caught lacking, are you? The pursuit of being less wrong in life is basically just saying never be caught lacking. I don't really like being caught lacking. Do you like being caught lacking? Me personally, being caught lacking is not my favorite thing to do. Ah!